what's up YouTube? Hassani here with another tutorial. Yo, this tutorial is about how to uh, get the NPC software and your DAW for Windows. I use Windows and Mac. On the Mac, it automatically appears because I use Studio One, uh, but on Windows, it doesn't appear. Um, so I'm gonna try to help those that's trying to get it in there and if you're using Studio One this is a good tutorial for you I'm sure with the other DAWs it'll it's the same thing just go to option or if it might be per preference or something like that but uh, anyway I'm gonna get into this to this video this is for Windows users only for when I'm using Windows 10 and my DAW is Studio One so let's get into it Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you exactly where it's at. So just go to your local disk C drive, double click, and it's going to be in program files and program files times 86. I'm going to just click on this one and just show you. First of all, let me show you an Akai Pro folder that you will not find the MPC VST plugin in here at all nowhere in there even in this one you won't find it in this one as well even though you see plugins and plugins the plugin layouts you won't find it in there at all where you're gonna find this uh, VST is in this folder right here called Steinberg and I know that's kind of confusing because I know some of you guys might be coming from uh, Cubase and like me I used to have Cubase but you know studio one came out and the rest is history <laughs> Uh, so you click on Steinberg you see VST plugins and there is your MPC VST alright so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get it in your DAW again in this video tutorial purposes I'm gonna be using studio one okay let me go ahead and open that up I should have had it open already huh uh, it just makes the video look more interesting, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right. So, um, what I did, I came here to create a new song and just hit OK. You don't have to do nothing, you know, special or whatnot. And then I clicked on instrument. I mean, I think I already had it open, but just click on instrument because you want to see something happen over here when it happens. As as you can see, mine is there, a Kai Pro Professional. It's already there. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I went to Studio One and then I went to Options. Now I'm sure if you're using a, another DAW like Ableton or Cubase or Pro Tools or something, and, and this is again for Windows users only, uh, just go to Options and then you might be started off like this. Just go to Locations and then you see the tabs up here. Just go to VST Plugins. And then once you go to VST plugins, you'll see that you all you have in here is just VST plugins. You won't have like the Steinberg or nothing like that in there. So what you want to do is you want to go to add, <clears throat> excuse me, and then go to your local disk C drive and then go to program files and then go all the way down to Steinberg. Now, all you have to do is just click once on Steinberg because like if you double click you'll see VST plugins if you double click this you won't see anything now if you notice here at the bottom it says select folder so I'm gonna just go all the way back and I'm gonna just select Steinberg and then select the folder I'm not gonna click this because I already did it but go ahead and click select folder and then it'll process and then you should see something uh, happen over here now make sure you do the times 86 as well because I don't know what works for your computer so just do the same process as you, as you did with the first one okay so just go to add go to your local disk C drive and then go to times 86 go all the way down to Steinberg and just click it once select the folder and the rest is history alright so over here in your browser you want to click on instruments and you should be able to find it all up in here okay so here it is again NPC you see that right there and then when you go to folder you'll see VST plugins there it is again vendor the vendor is Akai Pro professional uh, you open that up and there it is again and I'm sure type you'll find it in VST type PS 
uh, NPC right here. Now, let me show you that it works. So just go ahead and just drag it over. And there it is. So uh, I hope this video helped you out um, for Windows users only. If you're using a Mac, which when I did it on my Mac, uh, it was automatically there. I don't know, Mac is just awesome. <laughs> you don't have to do too much work. But yeah, for, for Windows users, you have to do this process in order to get your VST in there. Um, this is just a video, I'm sure some of you guys already knew this, but just for those that didn't know, uh, I just want to help you out and uh, you know if you still need help just leave me a comment at the bottom and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Alright you guys keep making beats and I'll see you on the next tutorial.